pressures well. It's a match that's, that many lawyers don't like. You know, they feel they feel shut down by much of what Geef can do. And understandably. But he does a great job of playing the neutral game with her really well. He, he pressures pretty safely against Zangief, and, and he can really he can really snowball. I mean, even though Geef shuts, shuts, can shut down some of what Laura's mix-ups are, she has other mix-ups that blow him up. Right. Right, so it's just a, it's a change of mindset, and I think Gustavo's great at that. Still can never stop seeing the tube eyes. The tube eyes, Zangief Zangief. with the tubes yeah, just hanging exactly. out there. <laughs> just little tubes. Cannot you can unsee. see the shadow right there. Yeah, I know. Cannot in the middle unsee. of them. That's right. They're just, uh, it's just hollow, hollow eyes, thank you. And look at this, Gustavo. Did you see it? He was sitting there. That was the delay right there. Was that Gustavo sitting there, eyes closed, focusing? Okay. And meanwhile, he's on still on his phone. Yeah, he's probably watching some funny YouTube video right look, now. He's it's like, a cat. Yeah, exactly. Like, hey, cat videos. All right, let's play some. Let's play some Street Fighter. Man after my own heart. Cat video <laughs> and then play Zangief. Oh, now. Yeah, yeah, my new heart at least. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, a little too far. Didn't really have anything to punish that with. There's that fireball in the Look at this. Screen. Lots of sweeps, pierces, fireball timings, fireball spacings are all good. He went in. It was a dash. It was a regular dash. Yep. And this is what Strider was capable I mean, this is how he won to, to get in the top eight versus Moke. He went for a Hail Mary dash forward command throw. Again, the sweep. I like him busting out that tool all of a sudden. You yeah, know? It's, it's a move that you don't often see, but against Geef, who wants to be pressing buttons like uh, down jab, stand strong, stand pierce, and like sweep is pretty solid. Oh, well, you know, that buff to the Lariat was such a oh. huge thing for Zangief. He didn't confirm. Very unusual, and now Geef's in trouble. I don't care who you are. You're, you're in trouble when Laura has this going. Yep, so that's why he V-reversals, because yeah. he was like, you know what? Kill the momentum. Oh! oh. Okay, what's the mix-up now? Okay, Looking he for went crush. for the crush counter. Is that ah! it? Again, you're in trouble. I don't care who you are. Yep. She activates V trigger and all the alarms go off, man. It's, a, it's an unusual style for Itazan, too. He's often so fast and mobile and, and very guess heavy. And in this matchup, look at this man just sitting there almost. He's trying to whiff punish things. And meanwhile, Strider is just dancing, doing what he wants. Oh, look man. at this. In oh, there. they finally stopped one of the approaches. Too far away for the medium. And that standing medium. Oh, this is gigantic. So much damage available. Okay, what's he going to do? EX? Yes. Get the mix up afterwards. What's the mix up? Oh, stay down. Where are you going? Grab. That's going to do it. Eat this on with the <sighs> full comeback. Both characters very much capable of that. Yeah. Zangief headbutting her to the floor and then SBDing her saying, I told you, stay on the floor. Hit Abashi with that comeback, like I said, never safe against this guy. Started walking in for the occasional hits, reminds me much of his toward medium kick, Abel, at that range. He would walk in for it, perfect timing. Anti air! So standing medium kick, anti air? Just makes me think of the, the, the medium e kick, the giant red box. He put himself in that spot. He's on response accordingly. He waited just in case of an, maybe wake up super. I'm not sure exactly. Grab. Nice stuff. He's on. Just not came to town. Guard. Do not guard. Flexing on him. <laughs> Those two rounds were such good sequences for Itazan. Yeah, and Gustavo's like, what just happened? What just happened? And Kate would be in the back just laughing. <laughs> he started flexing too. <laughs> and, you know, it's something that, that can happen against Eve, especially Eve is on Eve. Great reaction from uh, Strider to like, get the regular throw through that armor. Well, important to see that Strider was not thrown off from pressuring in the way that he wants to. But here's Itazan. Yep, chasing the back dash down with that standing heavy kick. Got him again. How many grabs? Ooh. He just wanted the trade. I think that's all Itazan wanted in that situation. And he's still close to stun. Oh my god, it's so dangerous. Oh, he hasn't no. stopped blocking yet, and there it is. Ill advised the panic there from Gustavo. Just that excellent cage put up by Itazan. He just had to do something because there is the true power of Zangief Crouch Light Punch. As long as he kept Gustavo blocking that, he was stun was never gonna go down. Right. So Itabashi was just gonna walk up low jab, walk up low jab, walk up low jab all day. Oh, crush counter in the fierce SPD! 
mix up time. What's going on? Okay. Away, away for Strider. Tried to get the jump, but Strider that had time to cancel. had the cancel. Had the back dash. Here comes ah, Larian. Yeah. He knows the common sequence is way too far, not punished. Patience. Nice. Got him through the armor. That trigger's melting. Keep it up. Tried. Well, no more V-Trigger for Laura, however, but no. he's got a full bar, so it's a lot of little shenanigans that he can pull with that. In oh! there, he the was ready. In fact, he may have won super even. Needy, level one, so go! Oh, there no! it is! He just hit one button after the two crouch He successfully blocked the two crouch light kicks, and then all of a sudden, Itabashi sneaks in that crouch light punch, cancels into the vacuum. Look that at that face, deep in thought. A lot of what he wants to do is, like I said, it, it is shut down by Geef. We saw Lariat through the fireball, you know, we've seen EX uh, SPD as a result, as a response to some of what Laura's pressure looks like. I know that uh, Gustavo can can change it up on the fly. He's got great adaptive abilities. Once he's once he's really invested himself in a game, once he feels like he knows all the things about it, he is good at adapting quickly. Fight. I mean, the reason why he's so successful in season two is because it took him a year to adapt to the to Street Fighter Five. Right, but once once he has done that, yes, he's then, very good. And then everything clicked, and he really said he just learned to play this game. All he right, had too a lot far, of character crisis early on, but now settling on Laura and performing really well, making a lot of top eights, getting second places at a lot of events. I wonder if he just is doing. Uh, jump cancel SPD or trying to at least he might have screwed it up at the last chance. Oh nothing. And now guess what? Side switch. Now you're in the corner, Laura. Oh maintain it. That's what he wants. No, he does on saw the whiff and gets SPD back on the train now, Meaty. Oh, most people expected the second tornado for right. Meaty. Oh man, that was so close. That could have been the last No! He just gets he's been overextended. Green. You can tell there's a little bit of nervous play right now and, and a kind of a desperation now. Well, there should be desperation now. Match point Itazan. Yeah, that first round he started with was so good and then he lost that first game anyhow. And up since then, I feel like Gustavo has not been able to get any real momentum going. Well, he's trying! Oh, Crush. chased him down! He's seen the backdashes. He's seen how concerned Gustavo is. Oh. Yep, backdash, caught it catching the backdash. Okay, regular throw, goes back in the oh, oh, crush. crush, that, that may will be it! Not oh, quite. oh she not lives. Quite. He'll suck you back right in there. Oh, oh interesting! Actually, he can take this if he finds one mix-up if it's the right one. Blocking! Oh, no! too far for the command throw! And Itazan takes it with a crouch light punch. Punish. He, he played that so well. I love Itazan's game in that. When it started, it seemed like he was a little bit maybe too cautious. He was just going for whiff punishes and wasn't really contesting. But once that once that got going better,